Hi, I'm Keith Marks. I'm the production manager and guitar wrangler for Howard Lee's during the Raiding the Rock Vault, run here at the LVH Theater in Las Vegas. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Howard's guitars, his amps, how we keep them in tune, strings we use, like these goofy pink ones, and uh, give you a little rundown on uh, what makes the guy so cool. Love my pop star. First of all, Howard is a PRS guy. Paul Reed Smith makes the finest guitars. I am a recent convert to the PRS world of fine guitars. I don't think there's a better guitar made in America today than Paul Reed Smith's. This is called the Paul Reed Smith Private Stock, which means it was handmade from start to finish to the customer's specs. Uh, it even says it on the back headstock, private stock number, signed by Paul, and I'm assuming that that's the builder. Uh, this is uh, obviously a tiger maple. We call it a white tiger. It's got his 5909 pickups in it, which to me are the best sounding pickups he's ever made. Creamy, uh, and they just sound awesome. The strings are DR. We uh, just recently started using them. They're actually glow-in-the-dark strings. Uh, and they sent us a whole batch of them, and they're different colors, and they glow in the dark, and they're cool, but they actually sound really good. I wouldn't put anything on a guitar that didn't sound good. So that's Howard's number one guitar, this one right here. For this particular guitar, we start the show with this. This is in standard 440 tuning, or A440 tuning. Uh, we use this on My Generation, Light My Fire, uh, Honky Tonk, and All Right Now. And then uh, we're going to move on to the next guitar we use. And this is a flip-flop guitar. They call same pickups, but as you can see, it changes colors. Very cool guitar, not a private stock. But my estimation, really, really great sounding guitar. Uh, and the other one as well has split coil pickups. Uh, this one has tremolo, the other one was a hardtail. This one is an E flat tuning, D sharp or E flat tuning, so it's down a half a step. And we use this one for Hendrix All on the Watchtower and Foreigner's uh, Jukebox Hero. Great sounding guitar, just a workman like guitar. Um, he's, Howard's had this a while. You've probably seen it on Bad Company. Um, it's been on TV a bunch, so I, I knew this guitar before I knew this guitar. All right, moving on. The next guitar we use. This is one of her, this is one of his newer acquisitions. I call it the root beer guitar. Uh, this is very cool. 5909, I believe, pickup or 57. Oh, he'll have to deal with that. Anyway, vibrato tailpiece, mini humbuckers, um, very interesting sound, uh, custom made for PRS or he makes them. Humbucker, split coil, five-way uh, toggle switch, lots of different combinations. Guitar sounds awesome. Uh, be just a beautiful, beautiful guitar. This one we call Soapy. It's a red quilted maple top three P90 soap bar pickups. Very cool, dark, you know, not so, uh, very warm sound, uh, different than a humbucker. Capo at its second fret, standard tuning A440, but capo at F sharp. Same deal, uh, no push-pull, five-way toggle switch for lots of different combinations. Maple neck as opposed to a rosewood neck. Just a great, great sounding cool guitar almost like a bluesy guitar just sounds awesome and the top is sick almost like the root beer guitar so anyway before you hand a hall of fame guitar player any guitar you got to make sure it's in tune and that's what these bad boys do this is a peterson auto stroke 490 tuner and then a backup old school peterson 420 tuner and as you can say it's see it's got a spinning wheel boom that's how you tell the stuff's in tune. Uh, and you gotta make sure the guitars are perfectly in tune before you give them a guitar, because once he's out there, he's all by himself. And the last thing you wanna do is hand him an out of tune guitar. So between these uh, tuners, I can always make sure that his guitars are in tune, and I keep my job. The guitar has to be amplified so everybody can hear it. So from the guitar goes to an AKG wireless, which goes to this rack, and I have four different channels that I use, so I can have four different frequencies going, and I hand them a guitar, I hit a switch, and we're good to go. So this is guitar number one. Goes to the wireless, 
from the wireless, we go to the amplifiers. So Howard's a Marshall guy, as half the world should be. Um, and he's a white Marshall guy, as you can see. He has lots of white Marshalls, kind of rare. And they're all 100 watt JCM 2000 channel switching heads. Uh, this is a black one that Marshall sent us. Um, so we're running this one and this one. And it gives us our clean sound and our dirty sound. So the idea is to let the amp dictate your tone. You don't want pedals doing all that. The amp, the, the tube amps, you turn them up, you let them breathe, and let them rock, and they sound great. I mean, that's basically the deal. It's a Marshall, it should sound like a Marshall. So Howard is kind of a purist. He doesn't like pedals, like distortion pedals, things like that. Delay pedals, a little chorusing, a little boost, and that's it. That's all he needs. So the first pedal we use is a uh, TC Electronics flashback. So it gives him a couple of different uh, uh, echoes that he can use. That's basically it. It's just, just a little bit of echo. And then we have a TC chorus pedal. Basically, just a nice little chorus effect. Here's Howard's like dirty When he needs a little boost for solos. And there you have it. Down and dirty, clean and simple. Howard Lease. This is the back of all the amps. Now as you can see, I keep them cool with these fans. But the secret to the, the vintage uh, JCM 2000 heads are these mercury magnetics transformers. For some reason you throw a set of mercuries in there and boy they get really really sweet. Um, I don't know how they work, I, I'm not that techy of a guy, but all I know is the company makes the best transformers and when you throw a set in, a, in an amp like this it just sounds ridiculously good. And it's like the mojo, you don't know why but it does it, it just sounds great. Um, so Mercury Magnetics, we did, did one of them, uh, and I hope in the future we'll do the rest of them with their transformers as well. It's not a cheap uh, add-on, it's probably four to five hundred dollars to do that to your amp. But boy, I'll tell you, it's well worth it if you're looking for tone. That's the shit. And there you have it. This is a 50 watt plexi head uh, we use for backups, and then 300 watt DSL 100 channel switching heads. This is an old Marshall Bluesbreaker, uh, set up with 25 watt uh, greenback Celestian speakers, 4x12, 75 watt speakers, not the 25 watt crunchers. So the 70, good beefy 75 watt speakers, each cabinet uh, can handle 300 watts. So the, the tone comes from the heads, not the speakers breaking up. The heads are where you get the sound. So here's a new one. This one we call Pinky. I don't know the model numbers on these, but this one has a five-way pickup selector. Um, and it says, I should know this, but I don't, uh, 5708 pickups, which actually are a lot warmer than PAFs, kind of, but still the same kind of output. So a great pink finish um, on a great guitar. Show you the back. This one was made in uh, 2012. Howard tends to trade guitars a lot, and uh, this one's been uh, hanging around a while. So if he keeps it for a while, it's a good one. This is a good one. So speaking of trades, this one we just got a little while ago. I threw some uh, kind of a goofy guitar. It's, we call it Bane, or somebody called it Bane, and that name stuck. It's got a Seymour Duncan. Uh, don't know which model. Could be a PAF. Could be a JB. Don't know. Uh, basically a one-trick pony, volume, tone. Turn it up, kills. Uh, real basic. Um, and that's it. It's just, uh, we use it on the Journey songs and, and real hard rock songs. This one we call Root Beer. And take a look at that top. <laughs> you could surf on that top. It's killer. Look at the waves. And this one also has some 5708s. Pickups with nickel covers. Um, coil tap on just the neck pickup which is killer because you can split this pickup 
and then immediately go down to this one for the uh, for your lead sound. Just a killer guitar. Another private stock, as you can tell by the eagle. And then we'll flip her over and show you the cool backplate covers, which match the front. And the old private stock uh, signed by Paul Reed Smith himself and the builder. Another 2012 model. So every once in a while, Howard brings me something really special. And this is very cool. This is a 61 Mary Kay Strat that I kind of brought back to life. As you can tell, it's got the green guard, all gold hardware, as Mary Kay's are. This is a refin, but still worth uh, a pretty penny. It just plays great. Plays and sounds great. It's a really good neck. Um, guitars like this are, are why I got into restoring guitars and working on them. They just are the best. Collectible. Beautiful. How long has he had it? Don't know. I, I think he's had it a while. You know, maybe 20 years. So, all original parts. Uh, the only uh, change was a refin to bring it back to that, that see-through Mary Kay. You know, kind of pinky uh, finish. But just plays great, sounds great, all original. Gold hardware, beautiful. Get you one of these. This one's kind of goofy. This is another PRS. Uh, same deal, no uh, push-pull. Just a straight-ahead rocker guitar. Two uh, humbuckers. The neck pickup set like Peter Green. For all you guitar players out there, this is a, a trick he used to do by flipping them over. Absolutely insane sparkle guitar. So I put in the multicolored DR neon strings. Strung 10, 10 through 46. Same deal, vibrato tailpiece. Maple neck rosewood fingerboard vibrato just turn it on it just stuns it's just a killer killer stun guitar mm -hmm. 